Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and you may hear some noises in the background of cars and stuff going by. That's because it's such a nice autumn day outside. I've got the windows open, the door open, so we're just going to have to bear with me, alright? So anyway, today on the show we're taking a look at a estate sale haul that I came across today. I saw a post on Facebook uh, originally um, in the post there were some photos uh, and in one of the photos there was some Masters of the Universe original from the 80s action figures along with a gremlin and some other stuff. So I decided to go see if they still had them and of course they were sold out. Uh, somebody had already got them but I still managed to get some cool stuff. First thing I got from this estate sale was a Robocop action figure. Now, as you can see, this figure is from the um, recent movie that came out, um, I want to say 2013, 14, somewhere around there. Uh, I, I remember it was being produced in 2012, um, but it was somewhere around there. And I thought it was a pretty good movie. I, re I liked it. Uh, it was a nice original take on the character. I didn't really much care for the all black suit, but um, it was okay. I'm glad we got two different versions of the suit in the movie. Or body, whatever you want to call it. I know it's not really a suit since he's a cyborg, but anyway, uh, this figure was at the estate sale. Uh, I was going through a box, found him. He did not come with his gun, uh, and the batteries are dead. Uh, I may replace the batteries at some point, because as you can see, you can t uh, unscrew the back to replace the batteries. So I may do that at some point. Uh, this is one of the things I got. Uh, let's go over articulation real quick. Um, the legs can go out a little bit and back in. Um, the arms can come out a little bit, back in, and it's on a slight ball hinge, so it can go all the way around, come out. The elbows, um, they can bend about that far. Uh, they can also swivel. No wrist articulation, though. That's on both sides. Uh, yeah, you've really got to be careful because since the uh, same uh, joint that bends also swivels, you got to be careful with how you try and bend it. Um, the head can go side to side, can't go all the way around. It articulates at the, at the uh, base of the neck pretty much. So anyway, there's that RoboCop. I'm going to add to my collection. I'm going to put them up on display here in just a little bit. Next, we've got an assortment of comic books. So comic book number one that I managed to pick up uh, was loose. So the cover's slightly, um, not really bent, but curved. Um, almost like it was partially rolled up. This is a Midnight Massacre Ghost Rider number 40 all black and gold cover next we have a comic that i had well my brother had uh when we were kids um that i always i always thought looked interesting i never really got a chance to uh read it or anything but this is an infinity crusade crossover from marvel comics the warlock chronicles number one and as you can see it's got that metallic uh hologram cover and it is in a bag and board next we've got dc comics new format lee falks the phantom number six waste and if you know anything about these dc's phantom comics they were two part uh two-part comics uh so you'd get the first half 
in one comic and then the uh, second half in another comic. So I'm going to have to find the other half to this. Then we've got DC's new format, Lee Falk's The Phantom number 8. Apes. So I'm going to have to find the other half to that one, that story as well. We've got The Savage Return of Dracula number 1 from Marvel Comics. We've got Worlds Collide number 11. Icon versus Superman. We've got X-Force number three, Among Us Walks the Juggernaut. Now, I had this issue at one point in time during my original collection, along with the other, um, the other part to the story. Uh, I can't remember if I still have either one or not. I'm going to have to check. Uh, but I would like to get the, uh, other, the other parts to this, the, uh, the Spider-Man half and the X-Force half uh, with the um, sideways covers. That'd be nice. Uh, and then final for the uh, comics, we have Superman number 47, The Wedding Album, that I've been wanting to get for quite some time now. As you can see, it's got the uh, pressed in Superman symbol there. Up next, we have, um, I'm not sure if this is the entire collection or not, because the box is opened, uh, even though there are unopened uh, packs in it. Uh, I'm not sure how many packs are actually missing. So, it says there's a 36 count. I'm going to have to count to see if all the cards are in here or not. But we have super glossy movie cards and stickers. Tops the Rocketeer. Uh, I managed to get this for a quarter pack. So that wasn't too bad at all. And finally, we have the cards, stickers, bubblegum. Have they grown again? Tops. Gremlins 2, the new batch trading cards. Once again, I'm going to have to go through these, check to see if they're all in there since it's an open box, unopened pack. So, so I'm going to have to see if all, all the packs are in there or not. Uh, we'll do a, a special video for both each one of these. Do an unboxing of these uh, to see if I managed to attain the entire collections. Uh, they had some other boxes of trading cards there uh, that I figured I hopefully I could get next time I go, probably next weekend or something. Uh, I just wasn't sure if I'd have enough money this time or not. So anyway, guys, there you have it. This has been an estate haul right here on Comic N TV. I hope you enjoyed this video and take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.